How many resumes have you submitted and not heard anything back? Like ever? 10, 50, 100, 500, 1,000? The postings are absolutely crazy and we never ever hear anything back or at least not often enough. And tell me if this feels similar. You see this posting and you're like, yes, that is me and I wanna do this. And so you modify your resume and you create your cover letter and you spend way too long making sure it's absolutely perfect and you submit it and then crickets, like nothing. And it's so frustrating, isn't it? But I know exactly why this is happening to you and here's a hint. It has absolutely nothing to do with your keywords. Because I know we all get wrapped up around the keywords and the, the bots and the ATS systems and all of these things. But I'm telling you, if you stick with me, I am gonna share with you three things that you need to know right now to stop this insanity. And I also have a free gift for you at the end of the video because you know I love to give you stuff. So let's talk about why um, we submit our resume consistently into the resume black hole. Here's some of the traps that you might be falling into. The first thing that you need to know without any shadow of a doubt is that 30% of every single posting is total crap. They don't need it, it's pie in the sky, it's just total, total BS. And if you think about it, have you ever done this where you're in a job and just for fun, you're like, what does my job description actually say? And then you read it and you're like, this is nothing like what I've done before. And job requisitions are exactly the same way. They're typically put together by HR or someone who doesn't do the role because everybody who's in the role is too busy and they add on all kinds of junk that they may need someday on a full moon, you know, when you're wearing the color purple. And then let's tack on a bunch of stuff that we need that's in the corporate, you know, speak and a couple of things to prevent lawsuits. And before you know it, you've got this job description that just looks like you're running the gauntlet. It's like, who knows all these things? Well, it turns out nobody. So if you're, if you're looking at those requisitions and you're trying to match, you know, toe for toe, realize that 30% of that is not really what they're going to make their decisions on and, you know, make sure that you qualify yourself for those opportunities. The other thing that holds us back is that we go for a perfect fit or really somewhat close to a perfect fit. And what I want you to realize that if you are 70% there, once you've taken out all the acronyms and all of the, the industry stuff, once you're 70% there in the core things that that job requires, go for it. Because everyone else is, that's getting that job is in the same boat. And so we tend to hold ourselves back when we see something that we're not a perfect fit for, or when we see something that, you know, is, is close, but I'm like, oh, I don't have that one thing, or I don't have those two things, or I haven't done that in the industry. So make sure that when you take all the industry jargon out and you just look at the base function of that role, if you're 70% there, do it, because you're gonna have an opportunity to compete for that job. And then the last thing I want to tell you is that your resume is probably wrong if it's all about you. And I know that sounds weird, right? It's like, how can my resume not be about me? That's the whole point. But think about it. And those of you who know me, you're going to hear me say this a million times. The person who's hiring you cares much less about what you can do and much more about what you can do for them. And are you going to be the person to help them get where they want? help them get that promotion, help them have better work-life balance because they've got a strong team, help them build their credibility as a leader because they've got a rock star team. Whatever that person who's hiring you wants, you need to be the person to show them that I am absolutely the person to get you there. But we spend so much time on our resume being focused on us and what we've done and not what you've done and turn that into how you can deliver for your new client slash employer. And so if your resume doesn't show that, if your resume doesn't scream out, this is what I do, this is where I help, and this is the transformation that businesses experience when they hire me, you're doing it wrong. And that's why it's not showing up. So when you think about it, right, realize that 30% of those requisitions, of, of what's in those requisitions is total BS. Stop holding yourself to perfection and only realize that you only need 70% to really have a successful chance at competing. And make sure that your resume is not all about you. 
that it's all about the transformation that you are able to deliver. And I got a bonus for you, a little hint, that if you have more than 10 years experience, your chances of getting a job from a job board are a whopping 20%. That's right. So out of everything that you submit, you've got a 20% chance of actually getting the role. So why are you spending so much time on the job boards anyway? Right? It's not a good use of your time. It's not a productive capable it's a not a productive way for you to move forward and land that job that you want. And so I'm going to challenge you this week to do something different. I want you to take the entire amount of time that you spend cruising the job boards, modifying your resume, putting together your cover letter and doing all these things so it's ready to go. So think about all the time you spend doing that. And what I want you to be able to do is to take one third of that time and stay on the job boards. The other two thirds, I want you were building your network. I want you talking to people, getting out there and engaging. So that is your challenge today. Now, we know that as much as keywords aren't a big deal, you wanna make sure that you've got enough of them to be able to compete. And so I wanna give you a gift. So when you click the, the link in this post, you're gonna have access to a free download. And basically it is a beat the bot checklist. So you are gonna know everything that you need to do to have a resume that gives those ATS screeners exactly what they're looking for and a LinkedIn profile that is gonna get recruiters lining up outside your door. So go ahead, click the link in this post, get that free download and stop wasting your time on the job boards. Go out and talk to people. I'll see you guys soon.